lot of tension in this game for sure. So I, I don't one think to look for on stream. Yeah, I agree. I I don't think they've ever played each other. Feet. I wonder yeah. if they've ever played each other on stream before. Um, I sure believe they, they didn't, playing. which is crazy okay. to think of. <laughs> yeah, the uh, I'm sure they're going to be playing a lot of chess this week there, and all kinds of other content going going down. We see uh, Andrea in the background with her Hikaru Nakamura pineapple shirt nod. Mm -hmm. And I guess you could rule out maybe d6 and c6 because that's where your queen is lined up with the most. Yeah, c6 enemies. seems weird. Yeah. So probably expecting a6 or e6. Yeah, I agree. So we've got a 50% chance of shooting the games earlier, and there were lots of uh, moments for either side, actually, to really get an advantage. We actually already saw um, an upset when Jules Gambit beating Andrea, I think. Um, yeah, I was surprised. Jennifer here is definitely the strongest player out of the entire field. Um, she's a two times U.S. Women's Champion. I, yeah, I was going to say Reykjavik. Yeah, that's possible. That's one of them. I know the Boteses have been all around. They were in Poland, I think, with Nemo. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a lot of players were like in Spain recently. So, yeah, chess player is very well traveled. Except me, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, what can Anna do? I guess she could... Castling's an option. Uh, something like knight e5. Seems like an annoying move to play, like you mentioned earlier. Linda is still thinking, by the way, as Alexandra has put on a hat and grabbed a mug and some pretty interesting slippers, right? Or Do you call them slippers or flip-flops? Or can you call them both? Mm. Is Alexandra's rating not updated? I do not know. I can check. Queen trade. So here, Jennifer gives the rook check, king goes to g7, and um, Jennifer goes queen d4, which pins the queen to the king, forcing a trade. And after this trade, we've gotten to this end game where we're at now, and so, so far what we've seen is just largely the kings shuffling around. So the rook gets to the second rank, and you'll see these rooks are kind of like forming a box. I like to say that blunders come in pairs. Mm-hmm. Maybe she was expecting en passant. That's possible. The plans is all about positional chess because the tactics are meant to just serve your higher level positional strategy. So you have to calculate, but as long as you can calculate the tactics and if it checks out, you have this positional goal of a good knight versus bad bishop and... That is, uh, that's why the Soviet chess school focused so much on that positional chess for the win, even though we all love a, a, a you know, a, a great queen. Chess boxing, wasn't Nemo going to compete against Jennifer? And weren't you going to compete in Ludwig's event as well? Or am I completely mixing everything up? No, you're absolutely right. I was uh, lined up to be uh, facing Nemo in chess boxing. <laughs> oh, you were going to, uh, you were going to compete it against me. Nemo? Yeah, and, and Jen was uh, also going to face this. I don't remember who? her opponent, but she was going to face someone. Unbelievable. Rook takes e7. If Dina finds it. She found it. She found, she it, found it instantly. Rook takes e7 oh and the game goes com goodness. completely back the other way. Rook oh takes my goodness. E7. And this is why you don't want to get down two seconds on the clock, because what do you do now? Dina's back in the game. It is completely even now. Yep. Bruh. I mean, occasionally it does happen, or 
Yeah, a few times. Or maybe you forget about the time for just a second. And, and then uh, it's gone. <laughs> and then, yeah. But I've also flagged. I also flagged some of my opponents in ah. games with increments. <laughs> because I noticed, I noticed that they're not looking at the clock at all. And I know, like, hey, if I'm going to look at the clock, they're going to look at the clock as well. So what exactly. I do, like, I see them looking at, I see them looking at the board. So I just look at the board as well. And yep. then, like... I'm interested in, like, you know, content creation, like, really starting uh, streaming again and kind of making her own brand. So I would say out of, out of the players at this tournament, oh, there's Gerber walking by. Shout out to Gerber. One of the most famous chess Twitch moderators. Uh, yeah. Good friend. Yeah. Do you know Gerber Baby Three? I only know Gerber. Could be such a plan if she wants to go uh, long. But if not, then there are those typical stuff that White has only two pawns on the queen side, and uh, there is something called a minority attack, right? So pushing pawn A and B forward, and and Dina could be playing for the E file and for like and. Um, Knight e4, just jump, maybe exchange the dark square bishop. So like in the center for now. But let's see. Uh, uh she deserved the win. Uh, Lina put up a great fight though. She did not give up. She played until the very end and made it pretty difficult for Alexandra. Um, but uh, the lack of experience did kick in. So let's see how she will do in um the future rounds, but. She did give uh, give Alexandra quite a challenge, so that's really good to see. And now we have one game left for today. Oh, some of the rook and pawn endings are drawn, so it's it's not quite a whole pawn up. It's it's a fraction of a pawn. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Do you think the a pawn knows that it's not a hundred percent? It suspects. Even when the game started, it thinks about it. Like, I'm not a center pawn, so I don't know. This is now a close to Sicilian, apparently. I... I don't know if I can keep going, guys. Does the position right? Dina is thinking after rook e3, I guess white has to go queen d6 and attack on on d5. But also attack on f8, so it's a double attack. Yeah, queen d6 is a nice move. Dina, I guess, on 40 seconds. Wow, this was so crazy. Yeah. So insane. It's a bandana. Hannah, 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 bandana. What? On your refrigerator? Hey, Hannah, your refrigerator's typing, and you better go mod it. <laughs> I'm also not Rosen. You're not Rosen? I thought you were. Oh. He's Rosen. So this may be something she was trying to trying to avoid. Um, also, it might be that she wants to at some point bring this rook here and have it be a defended square. But the only problem with these ideas is that they're more abstract than the position at hand. The position at hand is more urgent and the position at hand is referring to the king and king's safety. I guess that's not true. Dina's still playing pretty fast. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how much how much they're still kind of recalling on on their own sort of theory or what what they've cooked up. Yeah, I'm curious too. It feels uh very unusual, at least uh, when I look at Black's position, uh, the pieces feel so crammed up. And that's very typical when you're playing against D4 openings um, that this happens. And uh, yeah, it's really hard to play. Uh, guys, so thanks, thanks. I hope it was good. I hope, uh, especially Chaz had fun and I hope Tina also.
Yeah, I have a lot of hey, fun. It's not about numbers. It's about uh, <laughs> who you are. True. <laughs> Jules is like here laughing at my bullshit. Sad she rabbit. Gifted 10 subs to Dina. Oh, thank and They think I'm coaching them and that I only coach the hotties. A j jealous chat. Terrible. Yeah, we, we know you, you coach everyone, right? Yeah, if you if you talk to my students or you saw them, you would you'd realize I, I don't coach the hotties. <laughs> yeah, the truth hurts. Uh wait, so you you only coach the people that pay you. That's also also